Neowise has revolutionized our understanding of the solar system. We observed over 150,000 objects in the solar system. NASA's Neowise Space Telescope has recently shut down due to a massive solar storm. After being hit by a powerful solar storm, the telescope was gradually being pulled closer to Earth, leading NASA to end the mission. Even though Neowise is ending, there's still going to be a future to tracking near-Earth objects because we still haven't found them all. This space telescope has played a vital role in detecting and tracking near-Earth objects such as asteroids. With Neowise shut down, concerns arise about monitoring hazardous asteroids, especially those that pose potential risks to Earth. One of the most notable of these asteroids is Apophis, which is projected to come very close to Earth in 2029. We know for certain that Apophis, on Friday the 13th, April 2029, it's the size of the Rose Bowl, it'll get close enough to Earth that it will dip below Earth's communication satellites. It'll be the biggest, closest thing ever to come, known to come near Earth. Without NEOWISE, we rely on other systems to monitor space for dangers, but its absence raises concerns about our ability to detect and respond to these threats effectively. What does this mean for future asteroid detection and Earth safety? So let us know what actually happened with the NEOWISE telescope and what plans NASA has made to protect the Earth from potential threats like asteroids. Originally launched as the WISE, Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer mission in 2009, this telescope was designed to map the entire sky in infrared light. After its primary mission ended, NASA repurposed the telescope in 2013 as NEOWISE Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer to focus on identifying and studying near-Earth objects. This was crucial because tracking asteroids and comets that could potentially come close to Earth helps scientists assess any risks they might pose to our planet. Recently, NASA took the serious decision to shut down this telescope. The decision to end the NEOWISE mission wasn't taken lightly. It was driven by a natural process involving the sun, which goes through an 11-year cycle of increasing and decreasing activity. Recently on Monday, Earth was hit by an intense solar storm that could bring the northern lights to night skies further south than normal. Conditions of a level 4 geomagnetic storm on a scale of 5 were observed. This is the second such outburst this year following decades of relative calm. Space scientists believe this is part of a cycle of intensifying storms, which they expect to continue through the end of 2025 and possibly even longer. Currently, the sun is becoming more active, which is causing changes in Earth's upper atmosphere, specifically in a region called the ionosphere. The ionosphere is a layer of Earth's atmosphere that is filled with charged particles, and it expands and contracts in response to the sun's activity. When the sun is more active, its increased energy output causes the ionosphere to heat up and expand. This expansion leads to the thickening of the ionosphere, meaning that it extends further out into space than it does during periods of lower solar activity. Neowise was orbiting within this expanding ionosphere. As the ionosphere thickens, it creates more drag or resistance on objects like Neowise that are moving through it. Think of it like riding a bike through a strong headwind. The thicker atmosphere makes it harder for this telescope to maintain its orbit. Unlike some satellites that have the ability to adjust their orbits by firing onboard thrusters, Neowise didn't have this capability. This meant that as the ionosphere expanded, it gradually started pulling this telescope closer to Earth. This increasing drag from the ionosphere meant that Neowise was slowly descending towards Earth. If left unchecked, this telescope would eventually re-enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up due to the intense heat generated by friction with the thicker air. Rather than risk any unintended consequences, NASA decided to safely end the mission.
But the real concern right now is how we can protect Earth from asteroids without the NEOWISE telescope. As we know, there are many asteroids in space that could be dangerous to Earth if we don't detect them in time. Apophis is an asteroid that has captured the attention of scientists and the public alike due to its size and its predicted close approach to Earth. Measuring about 340 meters in diameter, Apophis is large enough that if it were to collide with Earth, it could cause significant damage. Fortunately, current projections indicate that Apophis will safely pass by Earth in 2029, but it will come closer than some of our satellites making it an object of great interest. So in the absence of NEOWISE, how can we track potentially hazardous asteroids like Apophis before they pose any threat to Earth? Well, NASA has already planned new space missions to continue detecting near-Earth asteroids. Just three years after NEOWISE in 2027, NASA will launch another space telescope named NEO Surveyor. Its goal is to discover approximately two-thirds of all near-Earth asteroids larger than 140 meters in diameter over a five-year baseline survey. You might think it's a bit risky to shut down NEOWISE three years before launching NEO Surveyor. What if one of these big asteroids comes our way in the next few years? Scientists said that the risks are very small as estimates show asteroids 140 meters in diameter impact Earth only approximately every 20,000 years. So, we would have to be extremely unlucky to have one in any given three-year period, especially impacting a place that would cause a large amount of damage. Only around 3% of Earth's surface is occupied by urban areas. On the other hand, NASA recently conducted a hypothetical exercise to assess the planet's preparedness against an asteroid impact. The exercise simulated a scenario where an asteroid, previously undetected due to its orbit around the Sun, was on a collision course with Earth. The asteroid, estimated to be large enough to cause substantial regional damage, was projected to strike the planet in 2038. Participants were told the asteroid was between 60 and 800 meters across, with a 72% chance of hitting Earth. With six months before more details about the meteor could be obtained from telescopes. Despite the 14-year warning time, the exercise concluded that humanity is currently ill-equipped to prevent such a disaster. Initial observations were not sufficient to determine the asteroid's size, composition, or precise trajectory. Complicating matters, the asteroid was expected to pass behind the Sun, rendering it unobservable for a critical seven-month period. Earth's most recent brush with asteroid danger was eight years ago, when a space rock the size of a six-story building came seemingly out of nowhere. The Chelyabinsk meteor was a small asteroid about the size of a six-story building that broke up over the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia, on February 15, 2013. The blast was stronger than a nuclear explosion, triggering detections from monitoring stations as far away as Antarctica. The shockwave it generated shattered glass and injured about 1,200 people. Some scientists think the meteor was so bright it may have briefly outshone the sun. The incident was another reminder to space agencies about the importance of monitoring small bodies in space that could